B show to find, to find a Maria for the stage. Yes. I mean, what do you think about doing a big open audition like that? I think it's great. Uh, I think it's a very smart move on, on uh, Sir Andrew's part. Um, but why not? It's a, uh, there's so much talent out there. I've no doubt they'll find the right girl. What sort of qualities would you be looking for if you were on the judging panel? Um, oh my goodness me. Um, I guess uh, a good singing voice, um, uh, personality, um, all the things that I know they will be looking for. Stamina as well, what a great role. Yes, <laughs> it is a good role, yeah. And um, cause I heard originally Scarlett Johansson had been tipped to do a stage version to play Maria. Really? Do you think that she would be a good Maria? I think she would. I think she probably is so famous these days, she probably wouldn't be able to consider it now. Um, but gosh, she's a pretty woman, yeah. It's lovely though, because whoever really finally ends up winning that competition is going to be an instant star. And that's a phenomenal break for some young talent somewhere. And among other projects you're working on at the moment, I understand that um, Shrek 3 is in production at the yes. moment. Yes. That must be so much fun. It Tell me about that. It is fun. It is. Um, it's just a different way of, of um, working. It's not like any movie I've ever made before because it's animated, and so I don't actually get to meet with all the other actors. I do my own work in the booth, and uh, the director tells me what to say, and I say it any number of different ways. And uh, I, they bring you in for a few lines at a time, and then you don't see them for six weeks or so. Uh, it's phenomenal the way they put those films together, and they're brilliant. Must be amazing to see the finished product then. It is. It's like, oh, they took that one, did they? Yes.